Good evening, sir. Good morning. I joined for. I don't care. I don't care. Sir, today Kongwell won't be coming, sir. Yes, trigonometry. The school that is in trash, sir. Hey, Nitish, move. Uh, check the thing there. Check what? I know. We got like 1.8 million. What happened to them? Sir? What happened to other students? Tarun will join, I think. But Kongwell won't join. Yeah, he won't join. Tarun. Oh. Yes, sir, I'm back, sir. Hmm. Okay. So, in your school, trigonometric ratios are happening? Yes, sir, we are doing it right now, sir. So, we skip like half the things and then we go into trigonometry, sir. Yeah. So, so we'll, I'm just like a little. Oh, what's we that? will be following your school thing, uh, at least. Uh, so that you can also understand. Yes. Sir. Oh, my book ended. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Sir, look at the size of this book, sir. This is like hello. How many pages? Hi, hey, I sir, can hear you. Hundred, and ninety-six pages, sir. Over, sir. Am <laughs> I audible? Only for math. Yes, audible, audible, audible. Oh, okay, I have two more pages, sir. Sorry. Okay, yes, let's sir, start. start. Let's start then. I finished two. I finished three one eighty pages because I leave two lines for each, like for also, each book step. Like, okay, so like, let's so see. Small. Let's see. Yes, sir. Huh? Uh, first part which we are going to see today is the uh, reference. Oh. One second, sir. Oh, one second. Sankar, did you know anything? Base, Please shut up, okay? Hypotenuse and height. Okay. Yes, so sir. basically, the point is uh, uh, in whole, all of this uh, trigonometrical ratios, right angle will be given. Okay. So typically, an angle will be looking something like this. in which one of the angles is 90 degrees always and the other angle is our reference point okay come tarun yes sir oh my hand so in typical situation the right angle will be called as angle B and one of the two things will happen. Either angle A is a reference angle or angle C will be reference angle. Okay. Can you please mute your mic? Some, somebody... It's coming from Tarun, sir. Mute. Tarun, mute. Huh? Mute, but don't go away, okay? Okay, all right. So either angle A will be reference point or angle C will be reference. The reference okay. point in the sense? Reference angle. Uh, theta. The oh. Sense, oh, right. it, it means that in terms of this angle, we are going to talk. Oh. Okay. So yes. in terms of angle A, we are going to talk. In terms of angle C, we are going to talk. So let's look at both the situations. And uh, what happens is the following. 
terms of any angle, we, whoever is the reference angle, we never take angle 90 degree as the reference angle. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The other two angles are taken as reference angle. Yes, sir. If I take angle C as reference angle, no, the base will be yes. the side BC. as BC. Okay. Perpendicular yes, uh, or hi hypotenuse will be AC. C. And height adjacent. Either height or perpendicular either either is e taken as a b okay similarly if i take angle a as reference then for this base will this is a b a b sir uh, hypotenuse will be a c, a -C. and uh, uh, yeah. no base won't be a b sir Base will be AB if angle A is reference. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Hypotenuse will be AC. AC. And, uh, and height will be no, perpendicular height. or height, will they be. will be BC. No, no, B. Ah, yeah. BC. Okay. First of all, this much should be clear. Is that fine? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Now let's see some notations. Okay. Second thing with respect to this is notations of angle. Uh, so till now we were we were uh, looking at uh, Nitish. I think you need to mute your mic. Nothing. Nothing. I didn't make any noise. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, yes. So, till now, we used to call our angle by the names like A, B, or C, right? We will now update this practice. We will not call the angle C as angle C. However, we will write something here. Okay. So, this place will be called as measure of angle C. And it will be in terms of symbol. Yeah. It will be either alpha, okay, or uh, beta. Yes. So alpha, beta, gamma. Hmm? This is called as alpha. This sir, is called as beta. Put it as angle infinity, sir. Instead of alpha, and then next day she's like alpha. Mom, you said infinity, ma'am. What is this? We'll, we'll come to that. And this yes, is called sir. as gamma. This is called as theta. And this is called as P. Okay. One of these notations we might use. Basically, all of them are Greek alphabets. Okay, like in our English language, we have 26 alphabets. No, likewise, in different different uh, countries, different different languages have been running, and all of them. Sir, these on angles are. Alphabets. Sir, these angles are basically variables, but in Greek letters. Yes. Yeah. So if I, it's just a, you know, fashionable way to tell. Basically, nothing is going to change. If I say that angle C is 60 degrees, or I say that theta is equal to 60 degrees, if I mention it by theta, or P is equal to 60 degrees. If I Can I write uh, angle B, A, C, or angle A is theta 1, and angle B, C, A, or angle C is theta 2? Be dumb, because it's only one yeah. triangle. Yeah, of course. I mean, only benefit to introduce these notations is that instead of writing BAC or BCA, no, we will give shorthand names to them yes, so that it becomes easier. For example, A, I will call probably as gamma. Yeah. So now angle BAC will be called as gamma angle. And whenever I make reference, gamma 
means angle BAC. Similarly, the angle theta means angle BCA. Understood? Yes, sir. Right. Now let's uh, understand uh, what are these trigonometrical ratios. Okay. But three in the finale. Now, uh, in this, it's like there is a shorthand way to remember. Okay, I'll show you the diagram and then you have to understand. Okay. So this is a acronym and uh, there is a uh, reason behind this. I'm going to write something. Hmm. Oh my God, I wish Sir, I sin, I cos, tan, 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 and cos, uh, cosex, so and what are they? Greek or are they any other language? So I'll tell you what is that. Now, thing is there will be a triangle okay i have a triangle i wish our teacher teaches like this sir huh so if it is like this we can remember so everyone the cossack means we will turn around the page to see what cossack <laughs> is. okay so see uh, now for me the reference angle is angle c okay and this i'll call as theta or c basically Sine of angle C, hmm? sine of angle C that is sine theta. What is below sine theta? P and H, no? Yes, H is the hypotenuse. So it is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Oh my God. AB upon hypotenuse. So perpendicular so, so... means AB B by upon AB. AC. Right? Yes, sir. And now let's see what is cos theta. What is behind? Be what is by base? Soka Toka. No, it'll be base by high, uh, high, high hypotenuse. I don't know what Whatever, that whatever, means. whatever. I will tell you how to remember this acronym. But first, understand how it works. Hmm. So, for the reference angle cos theta, what is written? B and base H. by hypotenuse. So, base over hypotenuse. For this angle, what is base? The base is uh, B. 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 And hypotenuse is AC. AC. So what did Tankar say just now? BC, Soka, Soka. What is that? Soka Tohada. We learned it right. No, we didn't learn, learn it in school. And we did. It. No, we didn't. There, there, are many, there are many ways. We did. Open so what, what about 10 theta? Yeah. 10 theta is P so over B. Uh, the P. AB by AC. T. AB by BC. Perpendicular AB by is AB by BC. By right? BC. Okay, what about uh, cot theta? Sir, base by ah, a perpendicular. So this is the thing which we need to be careful of. For cot, it is B over P. Hmm. So the direction has to be taken. B over C. So what is base? Sir, B C. BC. And what is perpendicular? A B. Similarly, uh, now sec theta is H over B. That means hypotenuse over base. So hypotenuse for this is AC, base is BC. Right? Cosec theta is H over P, meaning hypotenuse over perpendicular. Yes. Perpendicular. So hypotenuse is AC and AB. AB. Understandable? Uh, now if I change the reference angle, if I take the angle A as my reference angle and call as P, then sir, everything sir. will change. Sir, 
excuse me sir yeah sir so uh, sin theta cos theta and tan theta is equal to cosec uh, cosec p and sec p and cot p right sir i don't know if you can say it's equal uh, cos cosec uh, p what do you, what do you, cosec phi you are telling p yes sir so probably let's check so sin theta i have this hmm? now by what do you are p by h Thank so you, which is, which thing you are telling it is equal sir, to sir p uh, is b c b c is the perpendicular sir sin theta is equal to b c by a c sir sin theta is equal to cosec p sir okay. so cosec p let's check so for cosec i should have h over p now for this angle phi what is hypotenuse hypotenuse yes. is ac and what is perpendicular bc yeah so that is just um, cosec theta sir no it's not okay. cosec so cosec so theta. Phi, theta cosec phi is equal to sec theta Do you see yes sir this one and this one Yes, sir. Yeah. So it might happen that some relationships are equal to somebody else as ratios, and that is natural. It is bound to happen, and in fact, it, this is the essence of trigonometry. So first, we will learn that. Uh, so how... sec theta is always equal to cosec p. One triangle, yes. Sec, yeah, yeah, you can say that. and also you can say that uh, other angles are also equal for example 10 phi is cot theta see hmm, how so what is 10 phi 10 phi that is 10 should be p over b no yes sir uh, so for p what is perpendicular b c and what is base c no 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 it's ab Now look at tan phi and mm -hmm. cot theta. So it's cosec. No, it's not cosec. No, it's same. It's oh, it's phi cot. and it's cot, cot theta. Yeah. Yes, sir. Ah. Sometimes so, completely random. It's like yes. slanting, sir. Like sec is equal to uh, sorry, yes. cos is equal to cosec is equal to cos, sec is equal to sin, and cot is equal to tan. It goes like a slanting oh. way. Yeah, like uh, that. That's what happens. So, uh, so uh, like so hard to remember if you do like that. You you don't you don't need to remember it. Don't worry about that. Only thing at this moment which we should be careful of is that in a situation there will be two reference angles for any triangle, right? This yes. angle will give me six ratios. right yes. this angle also will give me six ratios so total i have 12 ratios to play with in a given triangle right some of them may be equal some of them may be different but overall i have 12 ratios to play understandable yes sir yes sir so if this thing is clear then let's move ahead yes sir sir so a small question for you is this one so we Nitish, today is also tomorrow is also a full day, right? Yeah, but no book needed, I think. No, that uh, tomorrow is full day practice, right? What? They would they would have told us where. Right? Okay, so try this one. Find sine A. Sine A versus sine O. So everybody try this first part. Sir, sign A means I should find the values. 
ratio okay. so you you have a right angle triangle of which two sides are given why is a triangle like that sir Line is perpendicular by hypotenuse apart. That means yes. What is perpendicular? There is no perpendicular, sir. There is no perpendicular. Yes, sir. <laughs> there is no there is no value for perpendicular, sir. So find out. You know Pythagoras theorem. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, I forgot about that. So 13 square is 169, right? Yes, it's 169. 169 minus 45. What's 169 minus 45? Hey, it's 12. Bruh. How is it 12 da? It's 12 da. It's not 12 da, it's 144 da. 12 square, 12 square is 144 da. <laughs> what do you mean? Ask 169 minus 25, I didn't ask the whole answer. Okay, that is 12. Okay, so by now you all should have got that. Uh, sign A. Is 12, yes right? sir. Uh, 12. Sign oh, A. Sign A. <laughs> not you sir, not you sir. Sign <laughs> <laughs> is perpendicular <laughs> over hypotenuse, right? What yes, is sir. Sir, it is so five by thirteen. No, twelve by thirteen. Oh, yeah. twelve by thirteen. Perpendicular, da. Perpendicular. Twelve is only. Perpendicular. Now the angle of reference is A. The opposite side is perpendicular. Oh, yes, sir. It's twelve by thirteen. Hey, stupid. Twelve. So this sir. is twelve. Twelve by, by thirteen. Right. What yes, is cos? Oh, I know. Sir, sir, cos C is also 12 by 13, sir. No, cos C is 12 by 13. Now, cos C, this is the angle. And cos C is called as base over hypotenuse, right? Yes, sir, sir. it's 12 by 13. Yeah. And for C, the base is 12 over 13, right? Sir, tan, sir, tan A is 12 by 5, 12 by 5, 12 by 5. Tan A is perpendicular over base. Yes, sir. Right. Perpendicular. Right. So, perpendicular is 12 five. and this is 5. So we can or cosec, not do anything, sir. Uh, sir, as we know that uh, cosec C is equal to... Uh, no. <laughs> wait, co wait, what? <laughs> sir, cosec C is equal to tan... <laughs> uh, okay. Cosec C is... Yeah, cosec C is equal to... Hypotenuse over... Cos uh, A, C. right, sir? Hypotenuse okay. over oh, perpendicular. Oh. Yeah. So, yes, sir. I was right. Co yeah. Cosec. Uh, I was right. Yeah. Hypotenuse over perpendicular meaning. So for C, what is hypotenuse? 13. 13. And what is perpendicular? 5. 5. Right? Yes, sir. Now sir. fifth one. What is the fifth one? Sec square okay. A minus 10 square A. So sir, sec is... Uh, uh, Sec. Uh, what? Sec is, sec is, uh, no, I know what sec is. I forgot. Sec yeah, is sec hypotenuse is over base. Sec is equal to tan theta. No, it's cos. Sorry, it's cos. the sign. Sign. Sec sign, 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 sign. Yeah, sign. Sign. Hyper so it is equal to no, sir, what? See, well by. See, first of all, you know, don't worry about the interrelationships between these notations. First, go but by the definition. That makes easier, sir. That makes certainly things easier, but how do you know that it is 100% sure? In right angle triangles, you just said it's 100% true, right, sir? As long as uh, we don't take it as a given thing, no? So don't assume anything from your side. Okay? I know more than you, okay? <laughs> At least that much you can believe me. We could have many more interrelationships, but we have not yet established them. Yeah. Yes, sir. Let's let's go slow. Don't worry. Huh? All will come. I found the answer. It's one. Sec is hypotenuse over base. Sir, the answer is one, sir. 
and tan is perpendicular over base whole square. I found so it's one. For a, what is hypotenuse? Thirteen so square. Thirteen by five. By thirteen. Sir, five for everything, base. it's thirteen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. uh, for a perpendicular is twelve square. Twelve square. Five square. Five square. And then correlated, they will be one fifty nine minus one forty four yes, by twelve. Okay. Sir, but uh, yeah. Sir, but when we do it, one sixty nine minus one forty four by twenty five. Yeah. By twenty. One. Then it will become. Then it will become a different answer, right, sir? Oh no, one sixty nine minus one forty four twenty five. This oh, is 25 what? over 25. Oh, this is what okay, I did. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, I, I thought. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. I am so smart. So when it comes to calculation, I'm smarter than Sankar. Okay. When it comes to like a triangles, the logical ones, I'm not smarter than Sankar. Okay. okay, now I'll, I'll show you one nice thing. Okay. So everything so, was nice. Sir. Oh. Yeah. So remark. Oh. Sir, See. why are you teaching this chapter like the second chapter, sir? Compound interest chapter. Second so, chapter is my why? <laughs> chapter. No, sir. Like first you give us the, all the tasks for today and then you give us the remark. So you're teaching this chapter also. Tell that this chapter the most <laughs> best that I've ever taught. Uh, I like this way. That's why. Because in our textbook, it's the same way, sir. Oh, are you accusing, sir? I swear. No, 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 no. How no. dare you? Okay, see. So now, you know what I'm going to do? Have you have you seen raisins when they are put in water overnight? They swell? They will become bigger. Yeah, they become big, right? So, so, so we are we are doing the same thing. We are swelling the triangle. Okay. Pour some water. The water. The triangle. Triangle. Yeah. Without the water. Yeah, without the water. The thing is, suppose I have a right angle triangle, and uh, the situation is this: three, four, five. Hmm? Yes. And I have another right angle triangle. The the Six, ratios eight, that this ten. time is. This okay. one. Okay. Do you see? I have. I have. It's a... one is to four, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. So easy, oh. sir. Yes. Yeah. So how by how much factor I have multiplied? Four. Four times. Four times, right? Now in first triangle, can you tell me what is sine c? Yes, sir. It's easy, sir. It's so easy. Yes, sir. It's three. Four sir, it is four by five. Four by five. By five. Easy right what right about right. sine f? Four by five. Uh, sixteen by. Hey, sixteen by twenty. Nah. Hey, f, by hey, five. it should be in the simplest <laughs> the ratio. It should be in the simplest form. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's, it's again ratio. four five five, right? Yes, sir. Now the lesson is this: if I swell the, if I if I multiply uh, the whole triangle by a factor, the ratios ratio. the ratios do not change. Getting like, my point. Even if you're a loser, how much ever you drink, it's still a loser. <laughs> <laughs> but you you get the point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ratios are invariant. Sir, every number in mathematics is like that only, right, sir? Anything you multiply it with, uh, like, let's say one, like, uh, one into three, the ratio is one is to three. Three into three is. Uh, Three, uh, three is trying, which is one is to three. Like yes. everything is like that, right, sir? Yeah, everything is like that. Take one for everything, means everything can't be like that. <laughs> take zero for everything, not take zero or something. Everything will be zero. What are you? Don't get what I'm saying. You know what you're saying? I just don't sir, get it. I, I'm saying that when you multiply. Got your, I number, got your point. I got again. your point. The thing is. There is this. This is a more general picture. Okay. Always we will try to find those circumstances in which, after a manipulation, Blue certain ahead. things remain unchanged. Okay. 
so i don't like your life coach so i don't understand anything sir <laughs> i'll repeat sir but that's not how multiplication works right sir like when you take yeah. x and multiply it three times that means you're adding x three times right sir so there should be three okay. x's inside the three x so <laughs> when you break up the three x's you will get Yes. So one x is equal to one is yeah. three. Yeah, you get it. <laughs> so equal to one is three. Okay. So do you understand everybody that yes, swelling right. swelling of a triangle does not change trigonometric ratios. The next time. Okay. Now based on that, I have a question for you. Hmm? Yes, sir. So the question is this. Yeah, right angle, triangle. Okay, I'll draw the triangle. It'll be easier. Hey, Nitish, send the Jimmy link to that email ID after the class. Okay, okay, okay. A right angle, triangle. The angle. The. Um, Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. So thanks for the thanks for the thing also. Oh, bro, the why did I draw it, sir? <laughs> it's okay. For for you to understand. Yeah. It is nothing Scott. but a swelling of a triangle. So, but um, what is Scott? Uh, tan. Oh, five, uh, three, four, and five are Pythagorean triplets, sir. Yes. That's true. I don't know what so, right, 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 right. the remaining trigonometric sir trigonometrical ratios means only sine, cos, and tan or other sorts, sir. That's all six. Uh, so I have multiplied the triangle by a factor of x, right? Even so, then the ratio remains same. Right? So in terms of x, can you tell what will be the hypotenuse? Okay, I'm doing it, sir. So why do I? Uh, why am I getting negative? The integer. Negative. Sec is what is sir? Sec is uh, opposite of sine, right? Uh, the opposite of cos, da. Oh yeah, sorry, cot, cot, cot is three by. Ah. So I'm getting so minus seven x square, sir. No. No, the hypotenuse is this. Sir, I found it, sir. Root minus seven x square. So what is this, sir? What are you doing, sir? Can I say? Can I say? Can I say? Can I say? Sir, sine is four by three, cos is four by five, tan is three by four, cot is three by four. Yeah, I found it, sir. Like it's four by five. Sine is sine is. Sine is not four by three. Ah, uh, okay, oh. sir. Sine is, uh, I mean, four oh, by yeah, five. Sorry, five. four Pythagoras. by five. Sorry, four by five. Yeah. Pythagoras and theorem says five five. that AC square is AB square plus BC square, right? Yeah. He's bad at math. Then AC square means okay. it is equal to. 4x square that is 16 square plus 9x square. Got sin is 3 by 3. So 25x square and this tells me that AC is 5x. So this thing is 5x. So sin A as a reference angle is P over H, right? Yes, sir. And for A, the perpendicular is 3x. 3x. So 3 but by 5. is 5x, so 3 by 5. Right? Similarly, cos A will be base uh, over hypotenuse. Or base over hypotenuse. So base four is 4x. 5 by 5. X, five, x. five or 4 by 5. Yes. And then tan. Tan is? Um, uh, yeah. Perpendicular by base. Be Which 3x is by 3x by 4 x. So 3 by 4. So 3 by 4. Sir, I was right. Anyway. Cosac theta. Yeah. Cosac theta. So 5 by 4, anyway. 4 by 5 and yeah, 4 by 3. Da. 
So cot is anyway given. Then sec is the pi by four. H over B, meaning hypotenuse five x five x by four x. Four x. Where is cot given? Pi by four. Then cosec A is uh, B so of pa, H over H pi by three pi by three perpendicular. Pi by three. By three x, which is pi by three. Yeah. Take. So why everybody understand uh, that cot was useful? Oh no, wait, it was useful. Useful. <laughs> okay, so now I'm not. Uh, uh, so what about see. cot? It's already given. How did you solve it without using the cot, Ra? Yeah, that is anyway given, no? Just mentioning or just mentioning. How did you solve it without okay. using the cot, Ra? So so let's uh, is the standard of the question now. And uh, try to see this one. I need to search more on Google. <laughs> so how I put? So Let's my see. AC was uh, minus some, root minus seven x squared. Sir, I I did it wrong. Sir. Still That's why like, so you're bad at maths. Okay, one. try this one. A B C sir, I don't know why I open it. It's B, so, B, C. B, C, C, B, C, C, C minus A, B is one centimeter. Find the value of the set. So I can use Pythagoras uh, theorem, just not the way you think. Yes, yes, so. of course. So I can write like A, C square is equal to B, C square plus A, B square. So can I like whole square or like some more? Um, I mean, uh, can I all square it? If when I take out the thing, it'll be like AC minus AB, so I can take once and one like that. You know Pythagoras theorem, whichever is available that you can use. So for me, I'm getting 25 is equal to 1, sir. Yeah. Hey, Sankat, are you also getting 25 is equal to 1, bro? I gave up there. I'm getting 25 is equal to 1, bro. Just yes, yes. How can 25 be equal to 1, bro? What you, I know what you did there. Yeah, I took my like um okay no I shouldn't use that word. See, I I did like I transpose the AC this side like AC square minus AB square. Took the square out. That means it'll be uh one square. <laughs> one square is one. So twenty five is equal to one. <laughs> Let me check it in the calculator. Twenty five is equal to one. No, no calculator. I was saying correct, Ra. Psych it does. Okay. So yes. What's the update? Yes, sir. What we were talking about right now. So I got 25 is equal to 1, sir. After that, you don't uh, take calculation seriously. That's why it happens. Yeah. What about you, Tarun? Say so you got the correct answer. That's it. Tarun? Oh. Yeah, sir. You're done, Ada. No, I'm not happy. My Just have to assume one of those. Oh, nothing. I can't do that. Oh, nothing. I can't do that. Okay. No, I was like, if one is five centimeter, then other two have to be three and four. Uh, but then the hypotenuse have to be the biggest line, so it won't be cut. Six and seven. Okay. Oh. So let's see. Uh, let 
a b be equal to x right centimeter yes sir so a b is x centimeter according to the information what is a c x a b plus 1 sir but how can we okay c minus a b is 1 right this yes thing. sir So AC is AB plus one. That means in terms of x, it is x plus one. So that means I can okay nothing. Oh. Now, Pythagoras theorem says that AC square is AB square plus BC square. That is, what is AC? X plus one whole square. What is AB? X square. Plus five square. So we just open it and find the value of x. Then we will know all the three sides, and we can find any ratio. This is x square plus two x plus one equal to x square plus twenty five. X square cancels. Two x is twenty four. So x is twelve. Right. And when x is twelve, AC becomes two. That is, AC is equal to thirteen, and AB is twelve. What should be cosec A? Cosec will be um, over the thirteen over five. Yeah. So what no, is no, no, X? Thirteen over twelve. Thirteen over twelve. Thirteen over twelve. What is perpendicular for angle A as a reference? Cosec A, wow, thirteen over five. Okay, thirteen over five. Yes. And cos A will be will be base over pi. Pi pi pi. H. Will be so B is base is twelve by thirteen. Right. Yes, sir. Everybody understands. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. Now I am going to give it to you this question, and let's see whether you can find it or not. Yes, sir. Why is it coming? Try this question. Yes. Oh my God. So is it? So is that is that a gamma? Is alpha and beta? Alpha, alpha. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cos <laughs> alpha. What does it sound like? Yeah? That was my chair there. Cos means. Base by hypotenuse. What is the base? I don't know. Cos a. Sir, cos a is equal to pi by thirteen. Oh, pi by twelve. Oh my God, that's me. Oh wait, no. Pi by twelve is thirty. <laughs> that means hypotenuse. Take. Is... So be careful, okay? Yes, sir. Oh my God, that means base is five. And hypotenuse thirteen. Oh my God, I forgot. Find the length of BD. Well, uh, sir, we did this question, sir. I, I don't think with the same numbers, but we did this question. I, beta, sorry, beta, yeah, beta. Uh, I used to call. Beta, okay, no one mind, Rashan. Call beta, call beta. Okay, C. I got three. Cos theta. Cos. Sir, 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 sir. Sir, how is this possible, sir? How is this possible? It's easy. Eight What? meters. I found it. Eight meters. Sir, how how can cos b cos is equal to Base by hypotenuse, right, sir? Sir, if 
base by hypotenuse so that means hypotenuse should be 5 but hypotenuse in a right angle triangle should be 3 square plus 8 square right sir uh, so you remember the swelling factor that's uh, what is the triangle is multiplied by a factor so the side which you are seeing as 8 no it is actually not original size it is the swelling factor which is making it look like so. so I can multiply it by anything to make it eight, right, sir? And, and, and I like let's take two into four as eight. Like I make four into two as eight. I can make one into eight as eight. I can make zero point so five. Best, best way, best way to proceed. No, if I have cos beta as three five, we have to like, take it as three x over five x, where three x is three d and back to ce then use the pythagoras theorem to find what is sir, the swelling four. factor what is oh, the swelling factor the answer, oh three four and five yes sir i already mm. found the answer sir three four it's eight meters three plus three so what what is the swelling factor that you can find eight sir it's eight sir BD I Oh, hey, you didn't know the logic behind it. I know you didn't know that uh, whatever I said, right? Similarly, I didn't got eight meters. Sir. What are you talking about? Similarly, cos alpha, which is five I'm over thirteen, no? Outside the box. We take it as five y divided by thirteen y, where y is the swelling factor, and cos I know it is base over hypotenuse. So five y. I know you be didn't see that uh, small d. B c over small b. A c. That hypotenuse is smaller. Problem. It's Continue. Sir, it doesn't make any difference. Sir. The base is the same, even if the swelling factor is like not there, right? Sir? No, no, not like not like that. Everything changes, no? no sir. That only ratio does not change. That's the point. Yes, sir. That then even if we don't do the swelling thing, also BD will be same, right, sir? Yeah. So BD is eight meters, right, sir? Yes. You didn't do it the correct way, though. correct. So you did it the wrong way. You, no, you did, did all that work way. and and you didn't have time to do the other stuff. That's why you like got. Yeah. How much you are saying is BD? So BD is eight so meters. BD is eight centimeters. Eight meters. meters. See you wrong. No. You get like lost. No. Incorrect. Okay, now I'll I'll do the whole method. Whole. BD is not eight. Yes, sir. Now I'll do the whole method. It's like. Oh. Now I know what to do. So six point five meters. No. Uh, what? What is that guess there? Uh, plus. Mm. Um. I don't know, sir. No, sir. I'm gonna do it, sir. Mm -hmm. sure, I'm sir. gonna do it. So see. No, 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 don't do it, sir. Don't do it, sir. Like so two more minutes. <laughs> Only two more minutes, sir. Tarun, what's the update? One thing. Huh? One thing, sir. I'm still doing this. Which sec are you using, sir? Sir, I got root Bruh. one secret to Y, sir. <laughs> Root one is equal to y. Is that correct? Yeah. For, huh? Yeah. So y is one. We repeat. We repeat. Root <laughs> one is just one, sir. Yeah. Okay. So sir. Cannot... <laughs> Don't do it. Sir. I don't get it, sir. 
Wait, I'm almost done, sir. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, yeah. So one second, sir, I'll be back. So one second, sir, almost done till like last step, sir. I think. That's sir. God. Say for the answer. It's eleven. Eleven meters. That's right. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> okay, let's see. I didn't realize the high part in was small, sir. But now I did. It's just a swelling factor. Yes, sir. Okay. So triangle ABC tells that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So according to us, AC is 13 Y whole square and 12 square plus 5 Y whole square, which means that 169 Y square, 144 plus 25y square. This gives 144y square equal to 144. So y square is equal to 1. That means y is 1. So in this case, the swelling factor is just 1. And in triangle Sorry, sir, I was EDC, I found the answer. Okay. EDC also says that EC square is ED square plus CD square. So EC according to us is 5x whole square. ED is 8 square plus 3x whole square, which is the other side. So this is 25x square, 64 plus 9x square. 25 minus 9 is 16, right? x square is 4, that means x is 2. So now the numbers are like this. Swelling factor is 2. As y is 1, so bc is 5 and ac is 13. cd is 3x, that means 3 into 2, 6. Okay. And ec is 5 into x, that is 5 into 2, 10. So bd is equal to? BC plus CD, that means 5 plus 6, which is 11. Yes. Understandable? Yes, sir. All right. I'm so smart. Sanka, very good, huh? Did something happen, sir? Your video is. Oh no, oh, it's not up. Okay, all right. Sorry, we have, we have four more minutes. minutes. One more question, sir. Yes, of course. Uh, Why are you getting this question from, sir? What? Where do you get these questions from, sir? <laughs> Why? So I can also practice it at home, for example, or upcoming. Text. You can do it from a school textbook, no? Oh, yeah. Sir, those questions are some, some questions are actually impossible, sir. Actually, sir, even if you do it correctly. Is it? And I'm one or two, sir. I've seen one question or two questions like that, sir. In uh, factorization, I saw one question. And uh, that uh, simultaneously, the equation one question. Uh -huh. It's practically impossible, sir. 
Okay. Yeah. But I'll try. It's an easy question to everything. So from easy to impossible. Right. All right. I, I think uh, this much is enough for today. Uh, in next class, no, what we will do is, uh, is that the relation which you see here, hmm, which you were guessing, no, who is reciprocal of whom, that we will do for the... Really sorry, sir. My, mo my mother was calling me. What were you doing, sir? No problem. So we finished that question, found, found the length of BD. I found which, it. Came it as 11 meters. Sir, I'll and check it in the video, sir. Yeah, yeah sure. Last, sir, so in I next class, sir. no, in next class, we will see some interrelationships between sine cos and cot sec cosec and then proceed further. Okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. Ask, sir, you won't believe, sir, that I actually found the answer. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I believe you found it. Okay, all the best then. Hey, Nitish, send the G meet link. Yeah, I can't say Good, good yeah, night. No, just, just the yeah. one thing. Why? Okay, yes, sir. Thank you so much. Just send the G meet Why, your pants are not there. Your model is there. I'll send it to you. Okay, bye. bye. Send it there. For what? No.